Sarah, yeah. I have a question about yeah. vitamin D because, okay. you know, I, oh, I'm always in the operating room. I don't get enough sunshine, and this is known as, uh, you know, the sunshine vitamin. Yes. And I check my vitamin, which I want people to, like, also know is, is 125 hydroxy vitamin D the way to go, the blood test? And it was kind of low, so I started taking about 2,000 IU of vitamin D, and it came back up. And uh, I guess the normal value is between like like 30 to 50. Um, is that the the way to go? Uh, and because a, a lot of these alternative docs are talking about 10,000, 5,000 units, and I think that's too much. It causes a lot of kidney stones. It causes a lot of calcification in the arteries, yes. and I'm worried about this whole push for vitamin D. So that's where I I stick with this. Uh -huh. And uh, I heard that uh, Institute of Medicine is talking about going up to maximum of 4,000 unit. Is that correct? Well, I believe that's what they're looking at. Uh, but again, yeah, I, I uh, also share your concerns with that. Um, we just don't know really, you know, the long-term ramifications of some of that. We do know that if you are taking way more than what your body needs, that yes, it can lead to, to things like kidney stones and other problems, uh, liver damage and so forth. Um, if, if you're a person who, who is indoors a lot, and, and the issue with vitamin D is that yes, our body, our, our primary source is the sun. And exactly. if you are indoors a lot, um, that can be an issue then as far as getting good sources. And the other problem is, is that there are relatively few good sources of uh, food sources of vitamin D. All right. So, We're unfortunately running out of time. Okay. I thank you so much for being here, and I look forward to doing some articles together on vitamin D and prostate cancer, which is my interest. And uh, I know you're making a big difference, so I appreciate you being here. Just to summarize, I think that, you know, what people should do is, number one, make a list of all of your vitamins. This is very critical. When you go to the doctor, those vitamins should be considered exactly like drugs, like medications. There are going to be interaction between your vitamins and your medications. And also, don't start taking vitamins on your own. You need to be under guidance of people like Cheryl, who are real dietitians and nutritionists, who know what they're going to give you. And don't share your vitamins with other people. You don't want to share your vitamins with neighbors because you don't know what they're on. And uh, if you are taking it and you don't really see a huge benefit, stop. So that's my advice to everyone out there. Go read about New York Daily News article. I think there's a lot of information there. And I think we're